bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands so i see quick communication coming in it doesn't always have to be communication it can also be um a lot of manifestation a lot of release okay manifestation action etc so i feel that you've made up your mind about something with the ten of pentacles here the two of pentacles in reverse and the eight of wands i feel that probably there is someone who's rushing in with a commitment okay the ten of pentacles is definitely a lot of stability and there could be someone who was juggling this decision for a very long time and they're coming in and they're coming in hot and heavy okay that's good news Aries. that's good news in the past year with the world in reverse here i feel that you could have ended or cut someone out abruptly or someone cut you out without a warning you didn't have enough time to come to terms with the end of the relationship but something was just just came to an abrupt ending okay in the past year and things were very stuck and stagnant um in the current situation with the seven of pentacles in reverse here okay i feel that there's a long term investment that uh, you could have waited you know for the fruition of this relationship or you could have waited for the fruits of your labor you could have waited for um um you could have waited for this person for a very long time because you have planted the seeds and you were expecting something better or something to grow okay and i think this is someone um you've just grown impatient okay and you're giving up it's almost like you know what now that's not happening that was just a sheer waste of time and what is influencing this is the ace of pentacles here okay so i feel that you were waiting for this uh, for a commitment or you were waiting for um, this person to come towards you and offer you this practical beginning but probably you waited for a very long time okay and for the 10 of wands here i think this was weighing very very heavily on your mind okay this could be a situation where it could have really exhausted you for uh, the longest time but um with the 10 of wands i feel it's like a burden that you're carrying around okay you can't even let go of this relationship and you can't even hold on to the relationship okay so you're like stuck okay but it's been a very long tiring road for you okay um a very very long uh, a relationship that has been on and off for a very long time the reason for the reading is the 8 of cups okay so i feel that someone walked away that's the issue here so you could have walked away from this relationship because there was a lot of disappointment within this relationship you were waiting for the commitment like i said and for the brand new beginning but probably i think someone just could have taken forever okay and you could have cut this person off and uh, walked away in the near future i see with the 10 of cups in reverse here there is a falling out of the connection right we already saw that but yeah you still there is going to be a situation where you're not going to be emotionally fulfilled okay this is also uh, someone who could have left you could leave a marriage or a long term commitment or a family situation or a relationship that is emotionally draining you out a lot okay what you are doing is the three of cups so i think you're taking it very easy you're 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 being very casual you're chilling you're dating casual dating you're concentrating on yourself it could be that you're letting your friends help you out with this breakup whatever okay but you're taking it very easy okay you're not stressing so much about it in your environment we have the five of pentacles so this is someone who's feeling very very lonely and left out without you okay you could be giving this person the uh, the cold shoulder you could not be rever reverting to their sms their uh, whatsapp etc you could have blocked them out everywhere and they're feeling very very lonely without you okay they're feeling left out in the cold in your emotions is the 6 of wands okay so either you want success and victory with this person or you're just moving forward more like you know what i don't give a shit i don't care anymore i'm done waiting i'm moving forward okay with the 6 of wands here in your emotions you could be having like um a lot of public recognition a lot of people must be really looking up to you you could be doing very very good in work you could have had promotions you know stuff like that but you're very very you're looking in your mind this is not going to weigh you down this is not going to pull you back anymore okay it's like i'm moving forward with or without you that's what i'm getting with a moon in reverse here is the likely outcome i feel you're releasing okay this is a lot of releasing you could have held on to this uh relationship or this connection for a very long time in fear you know more like um what if this person leaves me what am i going to do what if i don't get anyone else you know it doesn't always have to be about um what do i do it it's also a lot of insecurities okay the moon has the moon has to do with our inner 
securities okay inner insecurities it's it's a cycle it's a very deep emotional cycle so yeah it's stress fear anxiety all right stuff like that but with the moon in reverse here i feel that you're releasing this person more than releasing this person you're releasing the thought of whatever this connection was causing the fear and stress within you because look we have the ten of wands already right so this is already a very stressful connection for you so you're releasing the stress okay sorry all right so what i want to do is i would like to clarify um let me clarify Let me clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. You're moving on with the Seven of Wands and the Six of Swords here, right? You're wanting to move away from this person. I don't see you wanting to uh, get up. You know, the Six of Swords is also finding a peaceful resolution. Like, let's work this out also, moving into Kama Waters. But I feel there's too much drama involved, too much drama involved. And you're sick and tired and fed up is what I'm getting. So you're moving on with the Six of Swords here and with the Seven of Wands here. You are determined as fuck to move on, okay? We have the Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands in reverse. You're very determined to leave this person. With the Five of Swords, you're at the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? You're laying off this burden, okay? You're laying off the situation. You're resting the situation, all right? And with the Five of Swords here, you feel that, you know what? You're walking away. You're walking away. Not that you're walking away feeling defeated, but you're walking away from mind games. You're walking away from, uh, you just don't want any of this um, mind fuckery going on anymore, okay? You're fed up, you're tired. Because you feel you're dealing with someone who is the king of wands in reverse here, okay? Someone who could be a player, someone who um, has player-like tendencies, someone who's just very, I feel more than a player, this is someone who's non-committal, but at the same time, this is someone who's just very indecisive, okay? They don't know when is the right time to take action, or they're just not taking action okay they're not feeling very secure and confident about this relationship there could also be a place where this person doesn't really know if this is love this is lust how to make an approach towards the situation okay i see i feel a lot of lack of confidence okay they're, they're just not confident about this confident about this relationship uh, could be that you're dealing with someone you know who's never been in a relationship like this okay it can be anything so yeah it is you who's walked away you're letting the situation off all right, why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? Why is the Ten of Cups? Too many cups. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? We have the Magician here and the Four of Pentacles here. I think you're in a full-blown manifestation mode. Okay, and you're going to keep to yourself with the Four of Pentacles, okay? I feel you're not opening up. You're in a state of short term. You're not offering your emotions to this person. And with the magician here, you feel you can make things happen on your own. You're leaving this relationship which is draining you emotionally, okay? Which is not keeping you happy. You're letting this relationship go. You're letting this connection go, okay? Um, it could be a marriage because at the bottom of the deck, we do have, we do have the Hierophant. We have the Three of Cups in Reverse and the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? Guys, I hate to say this, but the Three of Cups in Reverse along with the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, there could be a third person involved, okay? There could be cheating involved, doesn't have to be, but probably it could also be that you knew about this person, okay? And you're like, you know what? I cannot do this anymore. I'm done. I'm getting rid of this third party situation. I don't. This is just someone who doesn't want to be party to a third party situation anymore. Okay. And with the three of cups in reverse here, um, you're just not being able to come with this person on the same page. Okay. With the higher furniture, it is a very spiritual connection. Yes. But you're just not being able to come into this connection, uh, come on the same page with this person, okay? You guys are just not being able to come together is what I'm hearing again and again. And you're letting this relationship go, okay? And with the Magician and the Four of Pentacles here, I feel that you're definitely manifesting a new beginning, okay? With the Four of Pentacles here, I feel you're keeping, you're keeping your moves very quiet is what I'm hearing, okay? 
you know like going on like oh you know what like fuck you i'm gonna go and you know go my own way etc blah 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 you're i feel you're quietly making your exit that's what i'm doing what is the five of pentacles what is the five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles now We have the king of okay. All right, I'll take it. We have the nine of cups, the magician, and the king of pentacles. You're gonna get clarity about a situation that is not moving forward. Okay, there's been a lot of thinking done about this, and with the five of pentacles here, it's clarified by the king of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the magician. Again, we have the magician here. I feel probably it's you, not only you, but even the other person is trying to manifest this with you with the nine of cups here. I think this person is a little smug. If not smug, this is someone who looks at you as a wish fulfillment, okay? You emotionally keep them very, very happy. You make them very happy, okay? And with the king of pentacles here, I feel now this person wants to come out of the cold and they want to come towards you. And with the king of pentacles here, they want to offer you commitment. Okay, this is someone who wants to come out of the cold and offer you commitment. If this is not that, then it can definitely be you again. I think the five of pentacles could be you. doesn't have to be you, okay? It could be you who's feeling left out in the cold, but with the magician here, you're not giving up, okay? It's more like, you know what? All right, so what? That's fine. I got this shit. I, I, got, I got this, you know, like I'm going to take care of myself. With the nine of cups here, now you're going to do what makes you happy. And with the king of pentacles here, I feel you're very, very focused on your work. You're very focused on your work. You're focused on your career. But it's not a reverse, all right? So you're not only focused on career work and your goals, but you're also focused on something that is giving you stability, okay? Something, you're focused on your stability, your security. And it's like, you know what? If it didn't work out with you, if you're not giving me the stability and security, that's fine. I'm gonna give myself the stability and security and I'm gonna move forward and find uh, that uh, security in someone else. It's like you're not stuck with this person, okay? You're still going to move on. That's what I'm getting. Yes, you are feeling lonely with the five of pentacles here, but you know what? Every time the five of pentacles does not always mean someone who's left out in the cold. If you look at this clearly, it can also be this woman who's leaving this person out, okay? And she's moving forward. She's moving forward, all right? So it's like that person is still looking at her, but she's moving forward. It's like, it is what it is, all right? That was really mean, but that's just how it is. Because look in your emotions also, I can't deny, you have the six of wands here. You're wanting to move forward. You, I, I don't see you as being stuck in a relationship that is not making you happy, okay? You're moving forward. What is the three of cups? What is this three of cups? Maybe this person wants a reconciliation. What did I just say? This person wants a reconciliation. I got the three of cups. Five of pentacles in reverse. Boom. This person wants to come back to you. Where were you left out in the core? Three of cups. They want a reconciliation. Ace of pentacles. Ace of Wands. This person wants a brand new beginning in love. Not only want, not in love, but they want a passionate brand new beginning, okay? They have a lot of passion for you. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, they want to offer you commitment. This is something solid, something stable, okay? And now they want to come together with you, okay? Bottom of the deck. We have the world. We have the lovers and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you you closed down a chapter with this person, but the world with the world here, this person wants to start a brand new cycle with you. Okay, this is a person. This is someone who mean, who you mean the world to this person. You could be living at a distance from this person. Okay, could be a long distance relationship. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, but uh, with the Gemini here. Um, Sorry, with the lovers here. Okay, yes, it does depict a Gemini. But with the lovers here, this person realizes that this is a strong ass soulmate connection. Okay, and I feel that they're choosing you. They're choosing you. They want to be with you. They want this union with you. Okay, and they're coming out of the cold. They're coming towards you with this beginning. Okay, it's like the moment you realize that I do, you know, it's like you do you, and that's when they want to come in. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Because in your emotions, you're not backing down. You're like, I'm moving forward. Nothing doing. Do I have the moon in reverse? Oh, I didn't even. Sorry, I needed to put that card. Do I have the moon in reverse? Do I have the moon in reverse? 
page of pentacles and the five of swords okay and bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands and the six of wands again forward fucking movement okay you're releasing this person again not releasing this person you're releasing the fears stress and anxiety which have to do with this person okay like for example a lot of insecurities people could have a lot of insecurities you could have a lot of insecurities with this person oh what if he leaves me oh what if she leaves me okay you know i can't live without this person how am i going to function without them okay that's what you're releasing that's what i'm seeing and with the eight of wands here and the six of wands you're manifesting a new beginning for yourself we saw the magician here right and with the six of wands here you're moving forward successfully okay you're going to do you uh, you could a lot of people could be jealous of you you could be doing very well at work or you're just focusing on yourself and you're doing damn good in whatever you're doing okay and with the five of swords here and the page of pentacles i feel that you're going to take care of yourself with the five of swords here, i feel you're standing up for yourself which is so badass and with the page of pentacles here you're looking forward to something new you're looking forward to doing something new. You're, you're wanting to learn something new. Maybe you want to take up a new job, a new course. But the page of pentacles is more like, you know, giving something, an old thing, a brand new approach. I think you're giving a brand new approach to us, to this situation. Okay. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.